Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I am back with another swap parcel received, which is very exciting for me. Although I'm feeling slightly sad at the moment because my cat unbelievably managed to knock my phone into a bowl of food that I was eating and it's actually smashed the screen. So I'm sad as he's, <laughs> he's done that. I had some stern words to say to him. Anyway, the swap that I did was one with um, one of my YouTube subscribers and she left me a comment saying she'd be interested in doing a swap and we had a chat and we decided to do a loaded envelope, um, which I think was our first loaded envelope for each of us, which is always very exciting. So it's been really nice to get to get to know her through this. Um, and here's this card. So she's called Squad Craft. Um, or Laura Jane and she's also a teacher so it's quite nice to have a, another teacher to talk to um, and she just said thank you so much for doing this swap with me I had so much fun I hope you enjoy the bits I've included please let me know if you'd like to do another swap and I can say now that I would definitely love to do another swap we'll have to think of something different to do next time and handmade by Squatchcraft that's really cute isn't it I wonder where she got that from if you are watching tell me how you got to that fantastic stamp made where you got that done because I really like that and a really pretty die cut so I have had a little peek in here because as I said I don't have even though this only came I only picked this up about an hour ago and I've already opened it because it turns out that I have no willpower whatsoever which is no surprise to me um might be a surprise to the rest of you we'll keep that paper keep everything so here is her loaded envelope I did mine in a slightly different way so it's nice to see how someone else has done it. And um, I didn't do a video of my one, but because, I don't know, I just make, I sort of make things little bits here and there in between rushing off to do this and rushing off to do that. So kind of um, filming like that doesn't always work. But mine also, like her paper sort of reminds me, mine was kind of a seaside theme and the paper she's used, it's really pretty. It's kind of sea-like, isn't it? And I love anything beach-like. We live near the sea here and... Um, we absolutely love the sea. We're very water sportsy in my family. And look at this. It's a really pretty die. I'm trying to work out. I think she's coloured in that bit that she's placed in there. Really pretty. I really like that die. Lovely. And I love that effect. Not entirely sure what she's used to create that effect. But she has also gifted me inside some lovely bits and pieces. So we'll have to have a look through because that's very exciting for me. I love crafty bits. So how cute is that? That's like a dress up doll. I love that. I've got quite a few of the um, you know, the Prima stamps, the Prima dolls that you can get and dress those up. I haven't used them in ages, I should get them out. But they remind me of that. Um, and all crafty piles. I absolutely love these. Anything like this, I use on my projects loads. So they will get used <laughs> in no time. And I will say, whilst I'm looking at this, this really excited me when I saw them. It's paper clips shaped like coat hangers. Coat hangers? Yeah, that's what they're called moment of madness um and i know i haven't used the little hanger charms i bought from the craft show yet but i absolutely love those i'm going to totally use those for similar kinds of projects so they are really cool and look some pretty sequins how pretty are they they're quite halloweeny i like the purple and orange i don't have any of that color so that's really exciting oh oh look some dyes aren't i lucky it's almost like seaweed to my seaweedy projects. I'm going to have to cut these out to get a better idea of what they look like once cut out. But I get very excited by dyes. And they're from Craft Stash. I do shop at Craft Stash. <gasps> oh, look. More sequins. And that's very sea-like as well. I'm going to have to do another ocean project. Pretty, aren't they? Pretty colours. Particularly like that blue colour. And there's another bag in here. Oh, this is different. Some little shaped paper clips. I don't really own shaped paper clips. That's definitely different for me. Might not be different from you guys. And I'm not very good at doing this, am I? They've gone everywhere. What is that one? Oh, it's a duck. It's like a little challenge. We were just watching Countdown down downstairs. My partner was, and I was kind of sitting there. And um, it's a bit like this, isn't it? Where you've got to work out what shape it is. Do you think that's a flip flop? I like the bulb. And the hearts, that's cute. And is that a flamingo? Yeah, that's clever how they've made that, isn't it? And watering can, that's cute as well. Another watering can. Oh, lovely. I don't know if I'm going to get them back into that bag just now because that is too much. 
hard work trying to get things back in and um look at those they're really pretty that must be the poundland brand i recognize the packaging but i don't own anything like this so they will definitely get used because i've got quite a few butterfly things at the moment so i really want to do something butterfly ish so that would be really cool and then these ones it's like she's made them so that's extra exciting oh look handmade by squash crafts wow you've got all these things like exciting stickers does that mean that you make your own stuff and sell them i mean what's you have to tell me more. I'm intrigued to know now about all these stickers and stamps. I don't have anything so luxurious. There's stickers and stamps with my name on it. And look at them, they're pretty bows. I do love bows and I do try and make them when I can. But that's really pretty papers, aren't they, to make those ones? Quite fancy papers. Pretty. I will totally use those. Oh, and I love these ones. And that's got another one of her stamps again. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to think. I, you don't have a I'm pretty sure Squatch Crafts that you don't have a YouTube channel um, where you post videos. I know you have a YouTube channel where you can watch. But if I'm wrong, then tell me because you need to tell me straight away. So I'm going to watch your videos. I wasn't aware that you did because um, I'm sure I had a look and I couldn't see any. Um, but with the amount of effort that you've put into all this crafting, I feel like you should have a video. So do tell me if I'm wrong and post below so that I can go and have a look. Those scissors are awesome, aren't they? I wonder what what die set this is from. They're really cool. So love those, love the handmade ones. And then there's these ones. And they are really lovely as well, aren't they? With little paintbrushes. I'm definitely going to be using these. I love these handmade ones. And they've got the sticker, of course. So I think the ones that she's made are my favourites. And yeah, we'll just take those up so we can see. So... You can look inside, it's got a pretty floral and she's made a back pocket as well. And inside of the back pocket, there was some bits and pieces that I've sort of dropped out. Um, and I'm loving these. These are hun hunky-dory papers, aren't they? Because I've been going a bit crazy on buying them recently. That um, So it's quite exciting to receive some, isn't it? You probably noticed on my videos, um, Laura Jane, that I had <laughs> bought some. Um, I like those gardening ones, really like those music oh best fishing that's cute i don't know if i could um to give that to somebody in my family i think they might be slightly offended but i really like that. that's funny isn't it look at that i once went on a on a barge for a night that was as far as it got cute bentley ah that reminds me more of home football I'll suit my partner Horse racing, some quite manly ones here. Groovy top of the pops. Show jumping. Ah, cute cats. And that's pretty, isn't it? Anything floral. Lovely hip hip hooray. And what's that one? Congratulations. Birds are pretty, aren't they? Ah, oh, get well soon with some medicine bottles. Some more flowers with well, loads here, aren't there? Wine and cheese. Can't be a good wine and cheese. Like, oh, she's actually given me two. Maybe by mistake, but that'd be very useful for me because I can decoupage it then. Um, and another wine one. Oh, so I got some amazing goodies. I'm very lucky. And we did agree and we said we would send each other some goodies. So um, I was quite excited to receive this parcel and it has not disappointed. Fantastic. So I'm hoping that she, um, Laura Jane will fill me in, maybe even on this video in the comments section and let me know some of my questions, um, like where did you get things from and um, how come you've got these fancy stickers and stamp, where did you get those from because that's pretty cool, where was it, on the back of the card and also do you have a YouTube channel that I've somehow missed, so all those questions need to be answered and we will have to talk very soon so that we can um, organise another swap. So yeah, get in touch and let me know. And if anyone else wants to organise a swap or anything, of course, get in touch and I will do my best to do returns and things as quickly as I can. Speak to you soon. Bye.